now and i asked them why they could not explain anything mm -hmm. and they said that they call kotu and they, in the whole country i don't mean brikama alone there's only one box gambia according to the information that i that reached out to me the whole country there's only one box so when that that one is out then this means there will be no blood transfusion in this country anymore so that's why these people are lucky to be here and i'm ready to give them the interview because in the incident i was there the reason why Brikama was uh, so important for me to give out interview because Brikama is a strategic area whereby uh, thousands and thousands of people would always be referred to Brikama Hospital. And it's unfortunate that there is no bloodbath at this hour in Brikama Hospital. I'm appealing to, directly to President Barrow, to the Minister of Health and Social Welfare, Gambia Life Matter. This is not acceptable. I know that their family members would be transported, evacuated to Dakar, to EU, to America for medical treatment. But Gambians like me, you, our sisters, our cousins, our brothers, our nephews are using these local facilities. So if we don't talk out, whatever the Minister of Health is saying is not true. And even the ambulances, because my mom was sick, there's just empty bed, there's no oxygen, there's no meters to check their uh, uh, situation or anything. So this means even ambulances transporting people to the, Gambi to the hospital, it's only God who saved them. So thank you very much. Mr. Jabi, huh? when the incident happened, you were there to give blood yeah. to the people or the patients at the hospital. Mm -hmm. But so suddenly, mm -hmm. the, the most painful side is that the blood bag that's supposed to carry the blood mm -hmm. to transfer to somebody mm -hmm. who is sick is no more there. Mm -hmm. How was your feeling and how do you pursue that emotions when that thing was said to you that all country in the Gambia, we have only bag that control or whether boxes that control the blood bags in the country. And how is your emotion and what happened transpired during that discussion? I was very emotional uh, because I mean, I'm a Gambian. I love the Gambia and I stand for the people. And these are things that I feel like crying, I have to be honest with you. Because, like, if your mom is uh, at the hospital and they need blood and things like that, so she cannot get, he or she cannot get blood, then they would die. So I was very emotional. I feel like crying because ethically, morally, this is not acceptable. I'm appealing to the people who are responsible of all these things. Let them equip Brikama Hospital and the rest of the hospital with all the materials they need. Because, I mean, in this way, we can save people's lives. Of course, we have the professionals there. I'm not arguing. At the beginning, they want to hide the situation from me. Then there is blood bag, there is that. I said, no, I, I'm a professional like them. Because the thing is, there should be extra blood. We don't even have to talk about blood bag. There should be blood facility storage in every hospital, whereby there are blood there, which is like control. You understand? Anybody, any Gambian, it doesn't matter whether you have money, it, it doesn't matter whether you are Jola, Mandinka, Sarhule, or Rich, Ho, everybody deserves life. There should not be a shortage of blood, or there should not be a shortage of, uh, what is the name, blood bath. And then, uh, I came to know that because last week my mom was there, even some medicines, there are so no medicines in this hospital. Some IVs, we have to go up to Banjul to buy them, and that took one or two or three hours. Within those hours, my mom's life could be saved, but unfortunately, I did everything, you know, I could not save my mom's life. I'm really, I'm really pissed off and I'm really angry at the Minister of Health and Social Welfare. Whatever they are trying to tell to the people of the country, that's not true. And I'll go around to all the hospitals around this greater Banjul area to make my own finding. Not that I'm just targeted Brikama or anything, because I want every Gambian to have better health care and social welfare system. I mean, everything should be available, especially blood. Blood is very important. No one can go without blood. Sure. It's just like car without petrol. Yeah. How can they run? In Kawa. Uh, if somebody would tell me that there is no blood bath in our hospitals, in the whole country, I would never believe. Sure. But I saw it to my own eye, and I talked to them. They told me there is no thing. And I asked them to go to, uh, to their boss. They said they made the request, and the request is coming from Kotu. And according to them, it's only four or five boxes, which would last for two days or three days and that you mean you mean throughout the country only yeah, one box left only one carton left according to the information that they received from court so i challenge the minister of health and social welfare where is all the money that was donated to the people of the uh, to the ministry all the millions of euro are donated by eu where that money goes i want to know 
we should remember this is not ab uh, against about the government or about battle. This is about ordinary people. Me, you, our cousins, our nephews, who are using our local hospitals every day and night. You know, they deserve better treatment. They deserve life. Every life matters. This is what I'm talking about. It doesn't matter whether you are a woman or a man. Blood, it doesn't matter whether you are a man or a woman. We all need blood. So I'm appealing to the people who are managing the hospitals to do something. This, because this is not acceptable. If at all Barrow's son or wife, Fatima Barrow, is attending this local hospital, I believe, Wallahi Talahi Billahi, no? they will equip this hospital. Because the reason why they are not equipping this hospital, I believe, the ministers and the government and the executive are not equipping these hospitals. That, uh, they are not using these hospitals. They mean, if, they mean the hospital is not that much well equipped yes. for the betterment of the people yes. staying within the environment. Yes. So what are the another uh, improvement or ideology that you want to send it to the government or the Minister of Health for them also to facilitate the necessary need for the environment or the hospital that is within the Greater Banyu areas? If you if you if we talk about medical issues, uh, Gambia is losing a million, millions and millions of dollars because most of the Gambians would go to Dakar, would go to overseas for treatment, right? And then uh, when they upgrade our healthcare and social welfare, nobody needs to go to Dakar or India or Turkey. Everything would be done here. The money would. They have to invest, and then they have to build a standard hospital in every region. In that standard hospital, it has to be differentiated. A department for heart, department for surgery, department for psychology, department for dialysis, department for kidney, and everything. And then children also should have their own hospital, whereby it's equipped with everything. We don't have to mix everything together because we'll become master of everything. Uh, we'll become, we know everything, but we don't know nothing. If we specialize, the, the health department also, I came to learn that even the newly graduates from, uh, from nursing school, four months they are not employed. Almost. Yes. No employee. No and we need nurses in our hospital. These people are just loitering on the street. Registered nurses are loitering in the street. In Finland, we need nurses. If the Gambia government doesn't need those nurses, let them need, discuss with the Finnish government. I will transport them there wow. so that they can come and work for us. We need more. They have the nurses. They are ready to work. They cannot employ them. That's the truth. That's me, you, our sisters are using these facilities. Not the ministers, not the directors. That's why they turn their eye on it. By the man didn't call coming for Jan Wallen Beatty, and tell him say ni jabi. Uh men kata mbal hake danila, and tell us ja, and call a card of president baroy. Na mistake call eke, the banko be danila wala, memon the card of baroy because of the hekato. Because the Tetara left another Purka Jello D, Purka Modo Dema, out of free of charge, Nanio Kam, Bari Nadna Menji, Ikayoke, Bango Menkono, Purka Yellow D Modo, Abanta Lepitano Konajan, Cabra Bantajan Fanam, your coat to me supply, a cartoon killing the budget. So Banko Bekam, Yele Manko, Wolebe Natsian. So Momondi, and the Kole, Yefan Jara, because Nita Jana would death sentence led, Nita Mola Lepitano. Can you sell yellow? You my yellow, sir. You be father. You be father. Neither sell yellow labi. You my yellow, sir. You be father. Neither sell that yellow labi. You my yellow, sir. Yalla mumu nekala. Be I am medication le thala. I'll check the next flight to go to Europe. You for the direct to emergency they'll give you blood. But na kere thala mumu nekala. Afoi. Na kere doko male mumu nekala. Na kere binki le mumu nekala. So nimbe diamo la pro tonya ka alunga diamo tonya ka. It's not about me. I'm not talking about myself. Yeah. I'm talking about ordinary Gambians who has voted for the president. Okay. Mr. Jabi, yeah. you're coming for a banking in France, some of you. I mean, uh, the, the president came with his own ideology mm -hmm. to transform our state. And the bank of the falling to the need of the people. Mm -hmm. But still now, being mm -hmm. people live in the same dilemma that happened before. So, I mean, in other breaking all the time, you have seen issues happening. What was your reaction? Be coming out of the camera town. You go, yellow monster, the camera yellow monster, Bago Fana monster, Puru yellow di Mialongo, Abelotan, and Puru yellow soda. What was your incident? How do you feel today? I am Balafata, I come board in the corner. 
ay ay tan dinala ko man sa kunda man gambianol ila life wala mi nio ame kantande katun ko na nio kantande uh, yelo manya yelo fo la manya ndaka manki sa ko yelo la bag ya yeah, understand mo la manya ndaka dono la pour ka modo sif ba hospital fo nya ndaka management sa tole blood uh, donation center where by frigo better ji the blood different groups ya yeah, storage for almost one year nationwide ni basen consulate blood la ya yeah, understand uh, abidjan ya yeah, dundu kula kono embrance ki within 2 hours after ji with the same temperature but after frigo kono nyam mol ndel ka ko nyal red cross ka blood donate ya yeah, mabo frigo kono ni sulata immediately within one hour foot e my better e be dawo dan den ye blood dela bar mo manya na kafa because of yellow because uh, we are gambians we should sacrifice for each other uh, yellow manya na ka sang junu bolo mo amanya na ka wa fu fana mo leje nda ka di free of charge banku de ya kan pour que banku de ya do safe ya yeah, understand bar em bala fata because mo na em bala fa ko do te mem bolo wote yellow so no la mala fe kana ko mo anda be falale ando and the left hand also mole kata je mele alon ko wolle carte fay man sakunda wolle barota so baro mu do ko lalti anya ndaka be do ko lalti mala feta nako so ni mele carte fay baro re wolle am these ordinary people because e jikitala le they think that anya ndaka fale ngona tele mo mondi ni ta left hand also e prasira mo soto ya antibiotic soto ya iv soto bare nga ko rochele o be man soto wolle ente bala fa and the barola man sakunda a minister skilon wolle bigi so wala moko wo ku kilo wala be continue la kad ne falindi roke falindi roka jiko le na ah so ni ma falindi roke ku koto si la koto kada sade koto la wo ku koto kilo ba fa mo mon ni ba bi ka ya understand so ntela mi rota bala fa wara batale ah so ntela mi rota man sakunda dokula dokula e nyanda ka e 